Do you want to study smarter, not harder? Well, I used to study many hours for an exam but still got bad score, but after I changed my studying strategies, I became a scholarship recipient with double major in health science and business at the top universities. And in today's video, I will talk about the studying strategy I got that helped me to succeed in all the STEM and the business classes. And we one rule that apply to all the subject is definitely have an organized studying plan and get started with studying early. However, different subjects have different studying strategies and now I will break it down into these subjects in this video. First subject I want to talk about is biology. There are two types of biology class. One is general biology, another one is advanced biology class. When you're studying for general biology, you should try to explain the concept to someone who are five years old. If you can simplify the concept, that means you truly understand it. And general biology classes require more memorization over applications, so I recommend you to study the slides or your notes at least twice before the actual exams. And another practical tip for all the college students is search up or Google your professor's name and course title. You will find some practice question and notes from the past student who took this class, and some professor even write the exam based on these quizless questions. So you can use these resources as an actual practice alongside with your class material or your notes when you're studying for the biology exam. If you're studying for advanced biology classes like immunology or physiology, you need to learn to use tools. These hard biology classes require both memorization and applications. And I recommend you to use tools like Anki or Quizlet. Here's how you can do it. First, you need to understand the concept, as I mentioned previously, by explaining it to someone who don't have any knowledge in the areas. After you fully understand the concept, you can use tools like Anki or Quizlet to help you to study the concept again, help you to memorize it at a more in-depth level because these games are designed based on a human memory curve. And after you have a more in-depth memories of the concept, you, it will be easier for you to apply them in the actual exam. The second subject I want to talk about is chemistry. Chemistry covers general chemistry and advanced chemistry classes like organic chemistry. Well, if you're like try to self-study some concept or there's some concept you just don't understand, I really recommend you to check out this channel. This guy explains everything so well, so definitely use it as a great learning resources. And another tip I have for you is organize all the key formulas based on your slides or your notes on one sheet. And when you're doing a practice question, use it as a references. Doing a lot of practice question can definitely enhance your understanding of the material, but just doing the practice question is not enough. It's very important for you to review the mistake you made because these mistakes can really reflect some misconception you had about the materials. And I recommend you to have a photo album, take picture of all the mistakes you made during the practice and review them on a timely basis and do redo add all the mistakes right before the exam. Why do I say timely basic? Your chemistry class it's built on foundation. And that means like you, you're building a house, but your foundation need to be strong enough to make sure the house is stable. So same thing apply to chemistry. If you want to learn more advanced chemistry, you need to have a strong foundation in general chemistry and you need to fully understand the mistake you made and fully understand the material in order to achieve to the next step. Otherwise, when you get to the advanced level, you will feel like, oh, I don't understand anything. Similar to chemistries, math also requires a strong foundations. When you're studying for math exam, you need to fully understand the concept first and do the practice question from easy to hard level, but spend more time reviewing your mistake and analyze how the question were designed, what's the logic behind it. And just spending more time on analyzing it can help you to save more time from doing some repetitive and unnecessary practice. And that's how I achieve a perfect score on SAT math in just one month of study. Let's talk about business classes. There are two types of business classes. The first one is more quantitative business classes like finance, econ, and business statistic. And the second type of business classes is more concept-based like marketing and management classes that require more memorizations. Well, for the quantitative business classes, I recommend you to skim through the class material or the slides 
before the actual class and take notes on parts that you don't quite understand the first look and pay attention to this session during the actual classes because nobody can stay focused the whole time and be smart about how you use your attention shift and another important thing is doing the practice questions your professor give well you might sound like a of course but usually the practice questions your business professor give for these classes are gonna be very similar to the actual exams so definitely fully utilize it for business classes like marketing management or strategy classes that require more memorization i highly recommend you to reserve a time that allow you to study the concept or review skim through the slides at least three times before the actual exams and when you're reviewing the concept, think about a scenario or business cases and see how you can apply these concepts in these real business cases. And that will really help to enhance your understanding of the concept and your memory, make it easier for you to memorize. I hope you find this video helpful. These study tips help me to succeed academically throughout college as a non-native speaker. And if you want to learn more about some new study tips or how to be productive, Subscribe to my channel, I'll make more relevant videos in the future.